What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm bringing you the all asked for really requested highlights video. So, you know, I, I've had a lot of people asking me for haircutting videos, highlight video, glow video, all sorts of different tutorials. So today I'm bringing you the highlight one. So this is going to be a very simple tutorial. Give me a few techniques. Some you might know, some you might not. But either way, it's going to be really quick and simple. Thank you for all the support on the recent videos. It's been amazing. We've nearly hit 3,400 subscribers now. That's insane. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, make sure that you're obviously uh, hitting the like button on the video if you enjoy it and basically join the Discord as well. I'll do a little bit of a segment on that later. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So guys, first things first, you're going to need to get your image or your design or whatever you're putting your composition into. I've got an image of Van Dyke here, just an image I had on my desktop, so I thought I'd use it for this tutorial. Nothing special, but we're going to add highlights to him. So I'm not going to do any image treatment or anything, don't really need to do that for this. Um, I'm just going to treat this as if it was in a design already and I had a glow. So I'll make a glow quickly. I'll just duplicate the background um, and then I'll make a glow. So let's just change this to a red, black that out and get a soft brush. So let's pretend I'm making a really big glow and it's going to reflect onto Van Dyke's face. So let's do this now. Let's change that. There we go. So we've got a nice red glow there. What do we do now? Okay, so you've got your glow. We're going to go and go to Van Dyke. So the first thing you can do is make a hue and saturation layer. Once you make this, you're going to want to clip that to Van Dyke. So just do that, clip and mask it to him. And then we're going to play around with these settings here. So you're going to click colorize for a start. Now what this does is change it to a complete solid color. So it doesn't matter what color you slide it to, it will be that color. So I'm going to leave it at red because obviously that is the highlight we want. So once you've done that, you're going to boost the saturation up. So now we've got quite a harsh color, I guess, over his face. And you can see that he's all, this is what a highlight would look like, wouldn't it? Um, so we've got that. And now what you're going to do is play around the lightness. Now, sometimes I boost it up, but most of the time I bring it down uh, just because it makes the highlights a little bit darker and it makes them stand out a little bit more. And you'll see what I mean once we actually do it. So I'm going to leave it about probably minus 10 and that's good. So now that we've got that, what we're going to do is double click on this hue and saturation layer to bring up the layer style. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to go on blending options and you're going to come down to where it says blend if around here. Now this is where you're going to make the shadows and the highlights blend in better. So you're going to want to hold alt on your keyboard or I don't know what it is on Windows. I think it's shift maybe or control. No, it's control. Hold control. And then we're going to just click on the end of this little arrow and split them. So once you've split them, this means you can drag it across. As you can see, once I drag it across, it's just making the skin come through a little bit better. So you're getting some of the actual texture of the skin back through and some of the shadows, you know, are coming back through instead of it just being solid red on a highlight. Um, so you can do this. Um, you can use the top one as well. Probably something like that's good because then you have some of the skin back. Now, the highlight side, you can try it, but it might look a little bit odd or it might look really good. So if you want to pull some of the, the white across, just get it until you think you've got a good balance of skin and like, you know, some actual texture coming through in your highlight because it will make them look better once we actually do it. So that's pretty much where I'm going to leave that. That's good enough for now, to be honest. So we're going to leave that there. So we've got our layer prepared. So now what you're going to do is go command I and invert that mask. OK, so now it's gone. We've got no highlights. So that's it. Video over. Um, so we're going to get a soft brush. We're going to change our flow to about probably 11 percent. That's probably good. I'm going to make it smaller. So obviously the light is going to be coming from here. We're not going to do shadows down here, uh, highlights down here, are we? So that wouldn't make any sense. So if we're going to go and see where the highlights are going to be hitting, they're going to be hitting on all the highlighted parts of his face already. You want to go across, see, uh, see where the white bits are like here. That's going to be highlighted because it's already highlighted anyway. Same across here. That's going to be highlighted uh, under here. You want to make that highlighted. And then obviously you want to do like an overall around the edge of his face type thing, especially if the glow is quite intense and like near him, you definitely want to do like a rim light just going to be going around his face. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this rim light. So what I usually do is I don't usually do it on the kit unless it's like a random color, but it, it just looks a little bit odd on the kit. So what I usually do is I go around the edge and I just, you know, click quite a bit just to make this nice little rim light. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm clicking quite a lot. I'm not doing like a gradual click. 
you want to just make sure you click quite a bit and then you can just bring it around and make a nice little highlight. Now that I've done that, we'll just zoom out. As you can see already, it's had a nice effect. Not too much, and it's a little bit harsh, so you can just uh, change your color to black, and then go back over this and make it a little bit, you know, a little bit weaker, so that it's not completely, you know, blowing out the design. You want the highlights to be really subtle. Like obviously, if the glow is really intense, you can make it really intense, but you don't want it too harsh because it just looks it just looks a little bit silly. Um, again, I'm going to go over here and do this here. Now that's pretty much all right. Here's a little bit harsh, so I'm going to go back over it with black. And you just want to keep swapping between black and white. Because when you're doing this, you're going to be able to, you know, put some on, erase some, put some back on, and you're going to be able to find that, you know, happy balance in your design. You don't want, I've seen a lot of like designers, they make the highlights like, it's like a solid fill. You like, I don't know, you don't, you don't want that. Don't use a hard brush, that's all I'm going to say. Because the hard brush will not look very good. Using a soft brush, you're able to get these nice little gradual lines. You can go over things, make it a little bit weaker. So now if I zoom out, you can see we've got a nice little highlight going on. Now I can make this bigger. So we've got our rim light now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this. So Command J or Control J on a Windows. And you're going to erase the mask and start again. So now what we can do, we can make the, you know, the glows a little bit bigger as if, you know, this glow was really intense. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make my brush bigger and I'm just going to click a few times. And by doing this, I'm able to make a much more, a much more intense mark on the design. So as you can see, it's just coming a little bit more. We can do it here. And now it's looking quite intense. It's looking quite good, but you know, it's faded. You don't want, it's not a harsh cut or anything. So now what we can do, we can come in here we can start working on some of these uh, some of these angles here. Now you don't want to make them too red, but obviously you can make them actually fit to the angles of his face. So you want the highlights to fit his face. So as you can see here, I'm doing the jaw. Um, obviously you can add a bit to the hair as well. It doesn't usually work too well on the hair, uh, facial hair anyway. It usually works quite well on the hair up here, but you know, that's just for you to play around with. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and start working a little bit more on the face. So if I change my color, this is going to be quite this is going to be quite an intense area here or I want it to be anyway because it's right under his eye, his eye and you just want that to look quite, you know, that's going to be where everyone's focusing on. So you're going to want it to look good basically is what I'm trying to say. And on the nose here, so you can do it down here, a nice little harsh harsh uh, highlight down there. And then again same down here. You can just do it on the side of his face, but you know, follow the facial lines. Don't don't make your own because it will just start looking odd. Now, once I zoom out, this probably will look a bit odd, but it won't matter too much because what we are doing is creating proper set of highlights. So as you can see, see the eyes, they look really good. Uh, the jawline's coming out a bit more. Uh, the nose is obviously shown out. The eyes, I might make it a little bit weaker and you want to make sure that it all fades in a little bit better. Um, so let's just go back here. And we can just make that fade out a little bit because we don't want it too harsh because that will just look silly. We want to keep it still looking fairly realistic. Now again here we can have it coming down, but that might just look a little bit odd. So if you want to do a, a slight highlight coming down his face, you can. But obviously blend it in. Keep keep switching between black and white. If you see here, I'm switching between black and white all the time. Um, shortcut for that is X if you didn't know. So just press X and it'll switch to white and then obviously black. And now I'm just going to go and do some highlights down here, you know, because these are going to be areas that are going to be, you know, focused on. So once I've done that, now, as you can see, we're getting that nice little balance. So here it could be a little bit harsher on this jawline as well on the neck. It could be a little bit more gradual as well. Let's get this nice and harsh here. And then you can fade it back out again like I'm doing now. Because you don't want it, you don't want it to look too harsh. As you can see, guys, highlights are all about taking your time. And you don't want you don't want to rush highlights because they can really change your design. Trust me, they can make them look a lot better than they already are. Um, you can have a bad design go from looking like a really really good design in quite a short amount of time. The neck's looking good. The neck the neck can be a little bit more gradual. 
I think. Like down here, just make it a little bit more red. Now we're getting somewhere. So I'm just going to go back to our rim light, which is the bottom one. So just checking in that rim light. And then this one's going to be global. So the global one is all over his face. The rim light is obviously just on the rim, like the edge of his face. Now this is where I can make it real harsh. And obviously it's going to look a little bit odd now. But once you actually add in the camera or filter and everything and all your effects, it'll just look like it's an actual highlight blended in. Now the one bit we haven't done is the lips. Now the lips might look a little bit odd because they're red anyway, but we can add some sort of highlight, especially under the shadow here and here. Just so it looks as if we've actually focused on it instead of just doing the nose and all the rest of the places. So let's just fade that out a little bit, fade that out here a little bit. Make that come down there a little bit. So it's all starting to look very nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. This could probably do with a little bit more work so it's not too red. Now, as you can see, I've got a nice little highlight going on. Going to make that just a little bit more global, especially at the top as well. This could do with a little bit more light. And now that we've got all of this blended in nicely, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the layer mask. So click the layer mask. You're going to go, well, you'll be on this one, but select that. And then you're going to use this feather tool. So usually I put this to about three. And then same again with the second one as well. This just blends it in more, okay? So it just makes it look a little bit more real. See now, if we zoom out, that actually looks, I think that looks really good. And it actually looks focused. Instead of instead of using, you know, just a really strong brush, making it a harsh cut, you've got a nice faded, blended highlight. Now, one more thing you can add to this, so I don't keep rambling on, is an exposure layer. Now, if you add an exposure layer, it's gonna make it look a lot brighter. If you uh, do it right, you can make the highlights look even better. So I'll do it like that, and then just invert that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go around the outside, and we're just going to make it a little bit brighter. Now, through doing that, you are able to make this glow look a little bit more lighter. Turn that on and off. Yeah, just makes it look like it's glowing around the edge. So that's pretty much, guys, how I do my highlights. Now, I know this is a fairly short video, but I don't want to keep you keep you like you know watching. Um, I just wanted to show you the techniques I use to actually make a glow on someone's face because I think it's really key for some designers because I've seen a lot of people on my Discord um, just not doing the highlights properly and, it, and it, it could make the designs look even better. So that is how I do my highlights. Uh, one quick thing I want to say now is obviously guys we have the Discord channel in the link down below. So obviously there's going to be loads of things we got going on in the Discord channel. I'm just going to load it up now. As you know you should definitely get stuck in. If you're interested in design, it's a great place to start learning. We have loads of different things going on in here. So we have new designs, which is where everyone puts their designs. We get feedback and everything going on. Um, you know, kit swaps, manipulations, all sorts going on in here. Um, then we have obviously textures where you can get textures from different people where we load things up for people. Uh, we chat about football, have a chat about the games on the weekly basis. And then you get all my info, which is like YouTube videos, live streams. You know, you get to know when I'm going live basically. And then the last one, which is going to be design of the week is going to be where you get to, you know, take part in a competition. You get to get involved with a tutorial, not a tutorial, sorry, a theme of the week. And then, you know, we pick the best one at the end of the week. It's great. Um, and then the winner gets to pick the next theme for the next week. So if you feel like you want to get involved with that, obviously, you know, the Discord channel is there. The link is down below. If you feel like this is something you want to get involved in and chat with everybody and learn some new things, then get straight into it. You know, just smash that link and you'll be in there. And you can obviously communicate with me through it as well. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you do, you know, decide to join. And if you do, I'll see you in there back to the video so guys back to the highlights we're pretty much done here now this is going to be pretty much what i do for my highlights this is how i do them you know it's pretty simple i know but it looks good and they're actually faded in instead of just painting half of his face red which is what a lot of people seem to do so i hope you have you know learned something from this i think i think you should to be honest because there's a lot of good techniques in here which you can learn um even if you know i would probably fade fade that out a little bit more like here it just looks a little bit red so I might just fade it out a little bit more. But, you know, it's all trial and error. You don't have to, like, do what I say. But you can test it just to see if you can actually, you know, make some really nice highlights. Which I, I know all of you can. You're all brilliant designers. And everyone who watches this video will understand this, I'm sure. So... 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Obviously, I just said about the Discord, so smash that link and get in the Discord. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And yeah, thank you for all the support on the recent videos. I will, you know, I will keep on with the short tutorials for these, like, you know, highlights, haircuts, and all that type of thing. And we'll be bringing back some Instagram redesign soon. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.